Good morning, everyone. Let's start. Vice Rector for Research, Innovation, and Doctoral Studies, General Chair of the ICSA Conference, Program Co-Chairs, Attendees of ICSA, Volunteers, as Director of Escuela Técnica Superior de Ingeniería de Sistemas Informáticos and Local Chair of this conference, I'm very proud of hosting this great conference in our facilities. Thank you, all of you, for attending the conference. Jennifer Perez was appointed last year as General Chair of the conference. My appreciation to the steering committee of ICSA for the decision to make a year ago appointing one of the faculties of this School of Computer Science, and of course, Jennifer, for considering that this school, your school, is the right place to host the conference, and of course, for all her effort leading the organization of this. I would also like to thank all the people involved in the organization, staff, volunteers, and members of the System and Software Technology Research Group. Without their support, this event could never have been organized. The next three days, you will have many amazing sessions, sessions talks, and the opportunity to share experiences between academia and industry. The number of contributions, collocated workshops, and attendees highlight the relevance of this conference the most relevant European conference on software architecture. I want you to meet your expectation at ITSA. ITSA. Time is running, it's very late. And my colleagues in the presential table also want to tell you some highlights of the conference. The next speaker is Jennifer Perez, General Chair of the 12th European Conference on Software Architecture. Vice Rector of Research, Innovation, and PhD Studies, Director of the Escuela Técnica Superior de Ingeniería de Sistemas Informáticos, uh, Program Co-Chair of EXA 2018. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to the EXA 2018. Welcome to Madrid. And as a general chair, I, I can tell you that I'm very proud of being the general chair of EXA because it's the premier European conference on software architectures. And it is a very nice community that is involved in this uh, conference because of the people and the quality of the works that are presented in this conference. Uh, I would like to, to mention uh, some uh, data about the, the conference of this year. And I would like to, to emphasize some dates. Uh, we have prepared some slides from the organizing committee and also from the program committee. And let me show you. And I'm going to move to the, to the other place. Uh, first of all, as a general chair, I would like to really thank you, all my organizing committee of this conference. We have worked very hard during a full year, and uh, we are very proud of the results uh, in terms of attending, the quality of the papers, the program that you are going to, I hope, enjoy during these days. And uh, I would like to thank all of them uh, this hard work that makes possible this uh, conference. Uh, first of all, I would like to, to thank uh, Carlos Cuesta and David Garland, my program co-chairs. David has a delay in the flight, so uh, uh, they join us in, in a couple of hours. Um, I would like to really thank to Grace Lewis, our industrial uh, co-chair, joined with Ma Manuel Gomez from GMV. I would like to really thank to Rafaela Mirandola and Home HM, my my workshops co-chairs, and also companion proceeding chairs. Also, I would like to really thank you, my, my poster tool and demo track chair, uh, Elisa Nakawawa. Thank you very much. Also, my women in software architectures co-chairs, uh, Laurent Dujan, 
and, and also Thais uh, Vasconcelos, Thais Batista Vasconcelos. Also, my PhD symposium uh, co chairs, uh, Juan Garbajosa and Paris Averdu. Uh, and all my local organization that has worked very, very hard to make uh, the possibility of, of having this uh, conference. And of course, I cannot forget my volunteers that were very, very kind with all the people and I um, taking care of everything. I would like to tell you that this year, we're very happy because uh, we joined nine workshops uh, in, the, in the EXA. Um, with uh, a nice uh, contributions and discussion during these two days, Monday and Tuesday. Also, I'm very proud of our keynote speakers are very top in, in our community, as we have just right now, Reed Kathman, uh, with a nice keynote. Tomorrow we have in the Industrial Day Michael Killing from IBM and also Sivona Clark from the Trinity College on Friday. Also, we want to promote the women in software engineering and of course in software architectures. And we have uh, this year a really interesting panel with people from, from the industry uh, with initiatives about how to promote uh, the gender uh, equivalence and diversity in our uh, infrastructures of academic, academy, industry, and so on. So I think that uh, would be really, really interesting. Uh, the Industrial Day uh, this year, we have pushed a lot in, in uh, having the industry present in this conference, not only research and in a certain way to be more close together. Uh, here we have all the, the companies, software companies that are involved in the, in the day of tomorrow, in the people from just industry or research projects that collaborate with the industrial companies. I would like to give you some numbers about EXA. And uh, we're very proud because we have 147 attendees at the EXA this year, be joined uh, workshops and also the conference. Uh, we have the nine workshops that I, uh, I mentioned before. We have three tracks, the tool demo and posters, the women in software architecture and the industry track. And also I would like to tell you that the attendance of the workshops on Monday were 44 people and um, um, to us the 66. I would like also to emphasize the diversity of the countries that come to, to EXA. We have 30 countries. Of course, Spain, in this case, we have more attendees because, of course, it's located here, and also the organizing people uh, counts. Uh, but um, following uh, this, the, the next one is Italy, uh, Germany, followed by USA and Sweden. With regard with the numbers about uh, the attendance, um, we have um, the main conference, um, and the conference plus workshops attendance is um, more or less the 60% and the 25% only for workshops. Also, I would like to emphasize that this year we have a 9% nine, a nine of, the, of the research centers, centers and the 27% of the industry. So not only we are from research and university. And, and this is a pity, but uh, this is the, the gender graphic of this conference. Uh, we have the 20% of women and the 80% of men. I would like to emphasize that this year we have decided to include a different present in addition to a lot of the speaker Bluetooth that you have in your bags. Um, to part of this present is to make a, a, a donation to UNICEF, to UNICEF. And with all of your gifts, we have uh, the possibility as a community, we have buy uh, 1,026 doses of tetanus vaccines, uh, 240 handheld white words, 25 uh, nutrition kits, and 24 education kits and 27 uh, vaccine kits. Uh, this is a way that to provide a, a present that is not in our drawer of our offices and um, we can help people uh, join it with these initiatives. 
uh, other important issues, all the proceedings you have in the website, all the main conference, the lecture notes proceedings, will be available during four weeks, and also the ACM are in the website. Uh, this this af afternoon we have um, an the inauguration and the cocktail of the conference, and we have the, the 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 honor of being here with us, the rector of our university, to to receive all of us. Uh, also, we are going to enjoy with our Madrid City tour that we depart from the cocktail. And tomorrow, uh, I would like that everybody will be involved in the best poster award, the tool award that will be in the coffee breaks. And you have your dots for voting, so please uh, enjoy with the living demos that we will have in the coffee breaks. And finally, in the gala dinner, we deliver which is our best poster award. Um, one of our purposes this year was to make a community not only uh, at, at this at this moment, but also in social media. So we, we have um, pushed a lot in Twitter, and we have a community. So I, I would like to invite you to join to, to EXA and to, to follow our, our tweets and, and information during all the year. Uh, just to mention our sponsors, Authentia and Springer, and all our supporters. And that's all for my sites. So welcome, and I hope that you enjoy with all the, the program, the activities that we have prepared for, for you. Uh, thank you very much. Yes, Carlos Cuesta, yes, Carlos Enrique Cuesta program co-chair of the 12th European Conference on Software Activity. Thank you very much. Well, I'm not going to take you uh, much time, but I have to talk for two people, as David is not here yet. So I have uh, to be the representative of the two program co-chairs here. The, as Jennifer said, David will arrive in a pair of hours. It's just flying here. So, well, uh, of course, the numbers of the of the main program, the the exit itself, indeed. Uh, this year, after some some years uh, in which uh, we had had uh, uh, several less sub submissions, this year we had uh, almost a uh, hundred sub uh, uh, hundred submissions. In fact, we had more than a hundred, but finally, after uh, leaving things aside, it was uh, 96. And after the revision by the desk, those papers that were not uh, fit in the context there were uh, 86 papers submitted. Finally, we had upsetted uh, 24. The 17 as full papers and, uh, and seven uh, extra papers as short papers. That's a rejection of 72%, uh, which is painful, <laughs> <laughs> you know. Uh, I mean, I have had the honor of being uh, one of the provincials um, probably I'm the only person, together with David, who sees everything, and then you see that very nice paper who, who, who happens to, uh, which happens to be rejected. <laughs> and, you know, uh, that's, it's nice for the conference because you have uh, very high standards, and you know, we, we must be proud of it. We have, uh, indeed, 20% uh, of acceptance for full papers, which becomes uh, a global acceptance ratio of 27-90%, uh, which is very nice, but at the same time, of course, you can <laughs> not uh, avoid the longing for this other purpose. So, well, you have here the, the global uh, the, uh, the figures. Numbers are referred to the 86, uh, not uh, to the 96, because, uh, of course, if we reject a paper before reading in the well, we have uh, three kinds of papers this year. Uh, we accepted uh, research papers, uh, industrial papers, and educational papers in both uh, long and short uh, ways. Basically, as you can see, the most of the, of the program are still research papers. Uh, together, research and short research papers are the uh, 54.2%. Uh, then we have, this year, we made 
particularly Jennifer and Grace <laughs> here, made a great effort to attract uh, people from industry and also within the main program we have a good, impo uh, a good number of industrial participation, which is basically one third, the 33 percent. And the rest are well, short papers and educational papers. We have also the, um, some of them. Okay, about uh, the, the good thing about the country distribution, we have papers in the main program from 14 countries, uh, which is basically the half of what we have in, in the whole conference, including workshops. You know, uh, EXA is proud of being a European conference. Uh, we always said from the beginning that uh, we are not specifically European except in two things. Uh, that we are always by charter uh, celebrated within Europe. We, are not, we don't have the conference outside Europe. And the second thing is that we want to provide the European vision. But apart from that, we are very proud of being an international conference, not strictly European. From the very first edition, uh, and we have had a participation for all the, all the world, uh, particularly, uh, uh, especially popular from, the, from America, but not only. And then, uh, of course, uh, usually, uh, still, most of the participating people uh, comes from Europe. This year we have a distribution, as you can see, this year is quite funny because probably it's the, only, the, the first year in which we have had uh, such a huge number of accepted papers from one country uh, <laughs> regarding to the rest. I mean, uh, it's clear that we have been uh, very popular in Germany this year, <laughs> and also in Italy, say, and then the distribution, you can see a lot of countries. Say, Funny thing, and not so funny, but funny anyway, is not any single country from, uh, paper from Spain accepted. <laughs> but anyway, and of course, several from America. In the distribution by, by continents, uh, still we have a uh, very huge participation from Europe and then the, from America and Oceania. Oceania means New Zealand in this case, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, well, that's the numbers. Uh, that's very uh, curious. I mean, the, uh, I could give uh, a lot of uh, more statistics. You have uh, several, one, uh, several of them in the preface. But I would like to, to end with a uh, remember, remembrance and a personal note. First, the thing is that this is the 12th edition of the EXA. Uh, and uh, officially, indeed, it is the 15th edition because we had, uh, as you mo know, we had three previous editions uh, as the uh, European workshop, which was basically just like that, a bit smaller. So, uh, in some regard, this is a special edition because we have already 15 editions behind us. In some other regard, it's also a very special edition. Uh, as it is somehow an anniversary edition, because uh, this is the second time in, in Spain. The first one was in Spain. Uh, this is the second time in Madrid. <laughs> Next time we have to go anywhere else. Uh, um, and also, somehow, the, uh, the organization, uh, organization of this edition has uh, some uh, connection with the, the, the first edition. The first edition in 2007, uh, I was the local chair. Then we didn't have the, uh, a general chair. Um, David, the other program co-chair, was our, uh, our first keynote speaker. So somehow everything is connected. Jennifer was here already. Elena had the best, paper, the best uh, poster award. <laughs> So, uh, and somehow, we are still uh, close connected here. And it's very nice to see that uh, 12 years later, we are still all here. So, we are very proud of what EXA has become. Uh, EXA became as a small conference with a lot of aspirations when software architecture was up, the, uh, was up there. 
I mean, Wixa was created when Exa, when architecture was beginning as a field. Exa was created when architecture was already an important field. We have seen the the field uh, go up and down, and now we are in an up. Clearly, there are at least two industrial conferences on software architecture uh, now uh, at the end of the year. And uh, excuse me, uh, the, the thing is that somehow. Uh, Research conferences has a, have a completely different role. Uh, this is a fantastic uh, uh, venue. We are very proud of the European community. We are very proud of what we are doing together. And just let's continue with it. Good morning, everyone. And uh, good morning, director of the school in Systems Informaticos, uh, and also program, program chair. Welcome to, to UPN. It is a great honor to host the, the 12th conference in the, the 12th conference, European Conference of Software and Architecture here at, at UPN. And um, as far as I know from the conference, because I also come from the computer science area, from the artificial intelligence instead of from the software engineering area. So, so, as I said, welcome to, to UPM, and it is a great honor to organize and to host this conference. Jennifer has already, as, as general chair of the, the conference, had the, during the previous month the, the hard work of putting everything together, the program chair, the workshops, the, the tutorials, the, the PhD symposium, and. Uh, I believe, just because of my previous experience, that this is a real hard task because there are too many, many, many people that, and, and you need to realize which one is your goal, and based on that, you you need to to push forward. The 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 conference has a great reputation, and, and I believe that it is it is a, a, a space where where people from academia and also from industry meets in order to, to talk about the, the advancing. I mean, cooperation between academia, researchers, and, and companies is really important in, in order to forward research and to transfer technology into the, the market. The, the quality of the papers is really, is really high. The competition it has been already explained. The, and also the position of the, the conferences in, in, the, in the rankings. And also having Springer just publishing one year after the other the the the, the proceedings. It's a uh, there are hints that prove the the, the, the quality of, of the conference. I would like to to say that a few words about um, the, the area of computer science and informatics in in UPM. I mean the the success rate of UPM in European in European projects is really is really high. For instance, in advanced computing, we have 89% of success rate, components and, and system, 14%, content and data, 28 big data, 10% of success, in, uh, internet of things, 20%, future internet, 17%. So in total, at this moment, we are running 66 European projects over the whole UPM in, in, in ICT. Uh, software architecture is, is, is an important part of this of, of this area, and in total, the, the success area is around 16 percent, between 16 and 17 percent uh, of success rate in, in European projects. So, so although at this moment there is no paper from Spain in this, uh -huh. <laughs> in, in in the proceedings, but uh, it's important to say that the the cooperation and collaboration of uh, UPM in that case with the with the industrial sector is really, really high. And just going into the, the program, I, um, I, I, I think I really appreciate the, the fact that um, the conference really integrates uh, the three aspects, which is education. Without education, we cannot deliver um, software engineers into the, the market, and we cannot deliver software engineers into research. And uh, so, so these links between education, research, and and, in, and industries are really important. And um, I, I also appreciate when I see in the programs PhD symposiums because this is a, a, a good way of, for, for PhD students to expose 
the research into the in, uh, to, to other people and to, to get uh, feedback. So, so this implies openness of a um, of a research area, and um, and also the uh, all of us we we know that the presence of women in the, in the, in ICT and computer science and software engineering is really low. So 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 having a a, a session on um, on women in software architecture is really appreciated and in fact it's, it is really needed. So thank you, Jennifer, for 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 being the general chair of the conference and for for hosting this conference at at UPM. I know that part of your time this year has been spent in just organizing, taking care of the logistics and, and putting together many, many people. And thank you, Carlos, and, and also uh, David Garlan, who is not here at this moment, just because of the plane, for, for taking care of the high reputation of, of the paper. So I really wish you a very successful conference, a lot of dialogue between researchers, researchers and, and industry, and, uh, and uh, good luck with the, with the conference. Thank you very much. So the conference is open.